Electric cars can pose a problem for pedestrians, and especially for blind people, because they're so quiet. Recently, we learned how the engineers working on the Fiat 500e went about coming up with a solution. Yeah, actually, we had a very interesting time contemplating what should the car be? We obviously went to very obvious places at first. It should be a George Jetson sound. It should be maybe a big Hemi engine sound, right? But then we started thinking, no, let's come up with something that's going to be very unobtrusive to the cabin of the driver, right? And also something which is going to really get the attention of folks who may be vision impaired. So one of the first steps we did is we went down into a leader dog training school in Rochester and we worked with the dogs and their trainers to find a sound that the dogs really would pay attention to. After we kind of dialed in that sound, we started working that same sound into parking environments and alongside busy, busy streets just to make sure that also people would pick up the noise. And we actually think we ended up with something that's really cool. It's a whirring sound from under the hood. It only comes on under 20 miles per hour because the vehicle makes enough tire noise over that to um, let you know that a quiet car is coming. And interestingly, as the federal specifications are being solidified, we found out that we're very, very close to where they want to drive the industry. So I could say that Chrysler, from an independent standpoint, came up with the same solution. They do, they actually perk up and they look right at it. And you know, it's like seeing a squirrel, they just pay attention. And that's what we wanted. We wanted leader dogs to just pay attention to it and stop and look. And that's the intent of the sound. You know, I actually took a recording of that sound home to try it on my dogs and see if they'd notice. No, they never even reacted. I guess it only works on leader dogs for the blind.